Ishmam goes to a market to buy some eggs. He buys 12 of them. He goes home, puts all the eggs in the same basket, and puts the basket on the kitchen counter. Then he starts making souffle. Suddenly his pet cat Fiona leaps over the counter, and I think you know the rest. Well, I think it's safe to say now that never put all your eggs in the same basket. Otherwise, you might suffer the same as Ishmam. On our previous video, we learned about risk. Today, we are going to learn how to minimize those risks by not putting all your eggs in the same basket. In finance, this is called hedging. Hedging generally refers to gaining an offset position in a relevant or similar security. Let's imagine a scenario. Ishmam is now an investor. He buys stock from a renowned company that sells beverages. Usually, beverage companies do well as people like to quench their thirst. But Ishmael fears that in the near future, due to natural disasters, the company might not sell beverages as they normally do as the demand for necessary goods like medicine, rice, and other things will be high. Thus, Ishmael buys some more stocks from a medicine company and a rice producer. Now, his portfolio has been diversified with three different stocks. Even if things go south due to disaster, he will not face loss as value of stocks for rice and medicine will boom. This is called hedge investment and by doing so, Ishma minimized the risk of his portfolio. Hedge can be done by diversifying and the other popular way of hedging is by the help of derivatives. There are many derivatives such as swaps, future, put, etc. which can help minimize the risk. To understand derivatives, let's make Ishmam a rice farmer for a moment. He has 100 square meters of land that he will farm rice on. He calculates that he needs 10 taka per square meter of land to produce rice, which equals to 1000 taka in total production cost. But he fears that in the upcoming monsoon, flood will destroy half of the crops. So Ishmam contacts Tamid, who is a broker, and signs a business contract with him. Now Tamid finds a suitable investor, her name is Mahima. Mahima thinks that flood will not occur, so she offers Ishmam 15 taka for per square meter of rice produced and signs a deal. This deal is known as future. So, even if flood occurs and destroys half the produced rice, Ishmam gets the money for the whole 100 square meter of rice produced. Thus, one year from now, Ishmam profits 15 minus 10 is equal to 5 taka per square meter of land which equals to 500 taka total profit. Now, you might be asking what the benefit for Mahima here is. Let's say one year from now, 1 kg of rice is sold at 20 taka. And Ishmam produced 1 kg of rice per square meter which equals to 100 kg of rice. So, after buying from Ishmam, Mahima sells the rice in the market and earns 2000 taka, making a profit of 500 taka. Now remember that Ishmael bought stocks from a beverage company and diversified his portfolio to minimize risks. Well, he could also use a put option to minimize the risk of a stock without diversifying. Let's say he bought 100 shares each of 5 taka from the beverage company. But for the fear of natural disasters, he buys the 1.5 taka put option at a strike price of 4 taka for the stocks. This means that in the near future, if the stocks are traded at more than 4 taka, he won't exercise his put option and sell the stocks. But if the price of the stocks strike below 4 taka, he can sell all his shares for 4 taka apiece. So for exercising the put option, he did not lose all his investments. This is how hedging works. Diversifying or opting for derivatives for an underlining security can minimize the risk. Hedging is basically like insurance. If someone buys a car insurance, it does not mean that the car won't get into an accident. It means that even if the car is damaged in an accident, the insurance can cover for the damages. Hedging is exactly like that. A rational investor hedges the portfolio to survive and sustain at bad times. So now you know where to put all your eggs rationally. <laughs>